Sup guys, today's video, microphones. Short, sweet, and to the point. You gotta love that Mountain Dew flip right there. Ah, yeah! But yeah, you heard me right. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about microphones for you guys. Throughout my tenure on YouTube and making music on the platform, I have been swarmed with questions on what microphone I use, what audio equipment I use, and like what audio equipment to get when trying to make songs. And in this video, I'm gonna explore a ton of different options for beginners, intermediates, and even advanced people. I'm not even advanced, so I don't, I don't know why I'm giving you a Advice. Honestly, if you're an advanced person when it comes to making music, just go away. I stop. But in today's video, I'm gonna be examining five different microphones. The first microphone that we got is the Samson G-Track Pro. This is a USB interface, which means it just plugs straight into your computer through a USB cord. It is a condenser microphone. It can be omnidirectional or cardioid, which means one directional. And if you go to Best Buy, I think you can find this dude for like $99. I bought it for $130 a year ago, but I think it's on sale for $100. The next step up is the LCT240 Pro from Lewitt. Now this is an XLR microphone, which means you need an audio interface to run this. The audio face that I used and pretty much everybody else uses is the Focusrite Scarlet. There's plenty of variants to it, but I use one that just has one input on it. I think I bought it for like $79 on Amazon. This microphone is strictly a cardioid condenser microphone, so this is good for one person speaking into it. Probably is not the best for like interviews where you try to record on both sides of the microphone, but I don't know. We'll get into that test later on. If you go to Lewitt's website, you can find this brand new for $149. This is marketed towards the beginner makers people that are trying to step up just a little bit from beginner microphones but this is technically more of a beginner microphone I believe one more step up from that we got the LCT 440 pure this is also a cardioid condenser microphone it's just beefed up a little bit more it says the sound comes out a lot better it's also an XLR mic so you will need an audio interface for it if you go to Lewis website you can find this one for $269 then we got the big boy the AKG C14 XL2 uh, the thousand dollar microphone that's a cardioid condenser that has so many features on it that I have no idea why I have it or why I bought it. This is something that I did not need, but I bought it because I was depressed and I needed something. And we're going to compare all these microphones to the singing machine for $9.97 at Walmart. Believe it or not, I have made a couple songs on something like this early, early on. Uh, da, da. It was actually a Guitar Hero microphone, but this is an omnidirectional microphone and I can already tell this is gonna be shitty. But we shall see! So the microphone that I'm speaking into right now is the AKG C14 XL2 Terminator whatever the fuck microphone. It's the thousand dollar microphone. So this is what it sounds like. This is the microphone that I use in every single video that I do now. It's what I record all of my songs in at the moment. So what I'm going to do is put all of these microphones through four tests. The first test is the speaking test, which I'm doing right now. This test will be good to see which microphone that you need for content creation, such as podcasts, YouTube videos, interviews, and things things of that nature. The second test will be the singing test. Obviously, I know I'm probably not the best person for this test, but I'm all you got, so I'll make it short and sweet. This test will be good for all of you auto-tuners out there, including me, because a splash of auto-tune never hurt anybody. The third test will be the instrument test with this guitar back here. And finally, we end with the rap test to see which microphone can handle the flames from the bars that I spit. All the other microphones came with either a shock mount or something to hold the microphone. Um, this came with nothing. This just... This came with this, so I'm, I'm gonna have to hold it. So right off the bat, this singing machine sucks, especially since you have to hold it. Any sort of movement with your hand on the mic or even the cord of the mic hitting something, it instantly pops the mic. The Samson G-Track with the USB interface seems the best of all of them for recording conversation due to its crispiness and ability to record the front and the back of the mic and filter out the side noise, but it pops very, very, very easily without a pop filter, which is not ideal in an interview setting. The LCT 440 was hot straight out of the box. It's definitely the loudest mic of all the ones that I have, which is definitely a good thing for me. A lot of the times I have problems with the mics being too low. It also comes with an additional plastic pop filter and a shock mount, which definitely help drown out any kind of noise that we don't want. The LCT240 was surprisingly very crispy and seems the most ideal for any kind of podcast style or YouTube style video. Out of all the mics that I have, it's the only one that naturally takes out the low end of my voice, which causes extreme crispiness. And most disappointing, my $1,000 mic is picking up a small echo in the room, which wasn't very noticeable to me until I compared it to some of these other mics. So yeah, after the speaking test, I would say that the LCT240 and the Samson G track were probably the two best mics to use for a YouTube video. The LCT 440 was a close third, but when comparing them, there was a lot of low end on that mic and it just didn't sound as appealing as the other two. On to the singing test. Whoa, whoa, Lord, why have you forsaken me? You got me down in Mississippi, where I don't want to be. Whoa, whoa, Lord, why have you forsaken me? You got me down in Mississippi, where I don't want to be. Oh, oh, Lord, why have you forsaken me? You got me 
got me down in Mississippi, where I don't wanna be. Whoa, whoa, Lord, why have you forsaken me? You got me down in Mississippi, where I don't wanna be. Whoa, whoa, Lord, why have you forsaken me? You got me down in Mississippi, where I don't wanna be. Again, the singing machine sucks for obvious reasons. On the Samson G-Track Pro, there was a little bit of popping, especially on the louder notes that I hit, and I was pretty far away from the mic. The LCT220 impressed me very much with this. It was crisp once again, and I was definitely expecting it to peak out once I hit those louder notes, but it held its own pretty well. The $1,000 AKG did well at not peaking. Honestly, it's the best thing that it's for, but I can still hear some of that background noise. And the LCT440 probably sounded the best overall for me, especially when I hit the loud notes because there was zero peaking whatsoever. On to the instrument. In the instrument test, the LCT440 definitely stood out over all of the other microphones. With it being a hot microphone straight out of the box, it was picking up every single pluck that I was doing, but it also did a very good job at drowning out any background noise, and it was very close to studio quality guitar sounds. In regards to all of the other microphones, they relatively sounded the same to each other when picking up the strings. Disregarding the singing machine, I honestly did not notice that much of a difference between the LCT240, the $1,000 AKG, and the Samson G-Track. They all kind of sounded the same to me. The AKG was a little bit louder but overall quality of the sound sounded the same to me and then the singing machine is just different it was kind of cool sounding not gonna lie but it was still not good on to the acapella rap ah uh, summer lama dama lama you assuming i'm a human what i gotta do to get it through to you i'm superhuman innovative in the middle rubber so that anything you say is ricocheting off of me and it'll glue to you i'm devastating more than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfucking audience a feeling like it's ever that it never fit and get another haters of ever waiting for the day that they can say a fella fell be celebrating because i know the way to get it motivated i make elevating music you make elevating music okay so there literally was zero difference between the lct 240, the LCT 440, and the AKG C414 XL2. Um, that is like a $1,000 range in microphones and they literally all sounded the exact same. The Samson G-Track sounded pretty good as well. I noticed a couple popping things and then obviously the singing machine is it's just not holding up to the test. I wish it held up a little bit better. So what you guys just heard was every single one of these microphones straight out of the box. I did nothing to the audio levels to them. I didn't mess with any of the settings on the microphones, but now I'm going to mix them, mess with their audio levels just a little bit and then I want to see if you guys can guess which microphone is which audio. Darling, sipping that homemade shine everybody that's gonna be the end of this video thank you all so much for stopping by if you guys are new please subscribe like this video let me know what you guys thought obviously you don't need to spend a thousand dollars on a mic to make yourself sound good i made every single one of these mics work you got these two right here this is probably my favorite one of the entire evening it is the lct 240 pro uh, it made my voice sound better than any of them i believe and this is 159 dollars guys 149 i think so you don't have to go all out uh every mic that i use today is going to be in the description down below if you guys want to go check those out and um yeah thank you guys so much for stopping by and until next time guys it has been your boy crypt and i'm signing out bye